years ago, one man set out to turn this country into a modern industrial utopia. Kwame Nkrumah, first leader of a newly independent black African state, transformed Ghana into a society shaped and driven by the power of enough power to build a modern industrial state in the heart of Africa within a generation. Visionary, not a dreamer. In his mind's eye, he could see the United States of Africa, and he could see Africa coming together to... To the people of the Gold Coast, there came last week a day that will always be remembered in their history. To what's been a British colony for more than a century, a million people went to the polls in their general election. In those who want self-government sometime in the future, and those who want it now, like the Convention People's Party. The Trade, defence and foreign policy, the first black African Prime Minister from the Gold Coast's vast reserves of the mineral bauxite. And this is bauxite, which lies in millions of things beneath the green forested hills of the Gold Coast. From this red earth, man can extract the shining wonder metal of today, aluminium. And that is the aim of the Gold Coast, march to independence with a dramatic leap into the age of technology. No nation which is beginning to free itself puts its neck in a position in which it will find itself in economic slip. 6th of March 1957, the Gold Coast became Ghana, the first black African country to be free. Your beloved country is free forever.
五个地名车。